busy week for earnings, but we're getting a lot of pandemic winning stocks reporting this week. And the question out there is, will they still be winners going into the pandemic recovery? And the market doesn't seem to know for sure. So a lot of them are kind of treading water, wait and see, but we're going to find out a lot on this week's earnings reports. So who are these big pandemic winners and should you still be in them or buying them? Let's dive right in and see. So the first pandemic play is Square, ticker SQ. And look at this chart. They've got a great earnings surprise track record. Just that one miss right when the pandemic started in 2020. Otherwise, you got to go back to the beginning back there in 2016 to see any misses. And they put together two huge beats in a row. Those are those two long green arrows right there. The shares are up 220% in the last year. They're now trading with a forward PE of gulp. I'm, I'm gulping here 256 times. 256 times those earnings, but this is a pandemic play as everything is switching onto online e-commerce and the merchants getting up to speed with taking any any kind of, uh, you know, transaction online and Square's been a big beneficiary. Now it's still bu busting out here in 2021. So it looks like the street is thinking it can keep this momentum, but can it? We will see. Then we're switching over to one of the big chip makers, NVIDIA. They've got a great earnings track record. Just that one miss there in 2018, that's the only thing that mars their five-year track record. They've put together a great uh, you know, streak here, but the shares have kind of stalled out in the last couple of months as people, again, are waiting and seeing what's really happening in the semi space. Now, they did bust out just uh, in the last week here to new all time highs. So what does that indicate? Is it really looking bullish here going into this earnings report? It might be. They're trading at 51 times, which used to mean it was expensive. <laughs> But these days, 51 times seems relatively cheap, right? So we will see with NVIDIA, but it's still considered the gold standard of the chips and huge in gaming and uh, data centers and other things. So this is one to watch. Then we're switching over to Moderna. Nothing says pandemic more than Moderna, right? MRNA is the ticker. They are coming off a miss last quarter, but who cares? They've gotten us the vaccine that's rolling out globally that is over 90% effective and is working. So Moderna, you know, no, no surprise, it's busting out here even into 2021. And we'll see, can this one keep up this kind of uh, momentum? It's up 814% just in the last year. It's uh, It may or may not be too late to get in this one, but the market uh, will be watching this one super close. Then we're switching over to travel. Airbnb, which only went IPO just recently in 2020. It's kind of hard to believe. It seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? But no, this is recent. Shares are up 38% since the IPO. And Airbnb is a pandemic play because instead of going to hotels over the last year, people have been going to Airbnbs or Verbos to escape the crowds. So Airbnb, a big beneficiary of the pandemic, but as the vaccine rolls out and the global travel economy reopens, are you gonna be inclined to go back to that hotel or still stick with you know, the Airbnb type of accommodations? We don't know, but we're gonna find out what it's looking like here in 2021 with their first earnings report. This is one to watch. Then we're going to wrap it up with one of the hottest pandemic plays. Nobody else was selling $500 million worth of masks in a quarter like Etsy. E-T-S-Y is the ticker. Good earnings surprise track record. Just that one miss right when the earnings or right when the pandemic started, like a lot of companies, but then uh, got back on track, shares still soaring up over 300% in the last year, not cheap by any means, trading at 116 times. But again, once we're done buying the masks, are we done buying them? Uh, it's unclear. Dr. Fauci said we may have to wear them into 2022. 
So if that's the case, are we still buying the masks? And is that still helping Etsy here into 2021? Also, a lot of people who went to Etsy to buy the masks discovered other things on Etsy. So that's been the big boom for them. Um, this is definitely one that will be interesting to see how things play out as the economy reopens. But uh, I wouldn't count it out just yet. So that's Etsy, E-T-S-Y. So as you can see, there's a lot happening and a lot of hot stocks still reporting this week. You think it's all done when FANG is done, but it's it's not. There's a lot happening. So be sure to subscribe to get all of our videos at Zax.com slash YouTube because you don't want to miss a single episode of the Earnings All-Stars. And I keep bringing them to you. So be sure to tune in for the next Earnings All-Stars video.